Hello and welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Today, we're going to talk about the tire changer available at Harbor Freight. Item number. All right, so first things first, go ahead and take the wheel off of the machine. I'm working with a 52 inch right stander fixed deck. Uh, yes, there are only three lugs in this case. Put the wheel onto the unit. Here's a breakdown of the parts. All right, so this is the base. Make sure you get some good lag bolts. Uh, in my case, I've got two by fours and two by fours that join into each other. So I've got one, two, three that are mounted two by fours. And this guy here is a uh, bolt instead of just a lag itself. So there's a nut on the bottom side of that. But that part just goes, so you get the screw that's connected to this part, which is connected to there. And then we go ahead and uh, put our cotter pin in. Boom, it's good to go. Tire goes on top, this goes on top of the tire, two nylon spacers, and then you've got this here screw. Uh, two other parts that are critical that are included. And this, uh, I don't know what the hell this arm is called, but um, this part here is where you're going to ride the rim to remount. I have no idea what in the hell this part's for, don't ask. And this part on this side here is to demount the tire from the rim. I think this. I think this guy here is called the bead breaker because you put this on, you get your leverage, put it on, you get your leverage, and you push down to break the bead. That's good stuff. And then this part, uh, you can see it's not very straight anymore. I ended up bending it because, you know, quite frankly, not sure if I was using it right. I read the owner's manual, didn't mean shit, is what it is. All right, so after you have the tire mounted, go ahead and drop that metal spacer on we're going to do two nylon washers and then put your screw piece on now at this point you're going to end up using a lot of leverage throughout the the rest of this process so go ahead take your time make sure that you get a good good tight seal on that screw itself you'll see me here using the bead breaker to add that leverage to get leverage to make sure that the tire is tight enough and the wheel it, the rim is tight enough on the unit so then you put your quick release pin in and then go ahead and just do that it pops open the wheel and then from there go ahead and take your quick release pin out and then this is where that part of that red bar works this is the rounded end and from here you just kind of kind of work it and find yourself a good spot but my problem with this was that i didn't use friggin lube so soap and water and a quick easy solution is going to be your best bet here and spray it down and use it liberally it's just a literal soap and water it can be hand soap can be dawn soap can be liquid who cares and i think in my case it's a cleaning soap but i don't have enough lube on it add lube get your torque anchor that sucker down and from that point should be able to go ahead and get that tire off the rim But first, you don't succeed in the first direction, try the other. Ta da! First side done. Hey! Part here, go ahead and move the tire because now it's pretty loose on that rim. Lube the hell out of it again. And sometimes it takes a tool, sometimes it does not. In my case, the old tire was pretty well rotted out and I, I had pretty good movement on that rim itself. But I still tried the tool on, on here on that side. Not the best approach going from this angle. Um, plenty of lube again, but I really start getting the torque that I need on the far side when I go underneath and through the tire itself and pop it out this way like this. This is the best practice to get that sucker through, but you gotta be able to make enough of a space for that to get through. So then from there, you're just gonna do the same exact thing that we did prior. And just work it. Make sure to swear and cuss at it as much as possible. Voila, we're clear. Take this shit off. So 
from here you just want to take that top screw portion off again we ended up using the leverage portion right to get that on there so you're gonna have to leverage it so to speak and it's pretty straightforward go ahead and take that off take your nylon nuts off or nylon washers what are those things are spacers there you go take those off and that portion off and then clean the hell out of your rim in my case, again, this is an older machine that was basically abandoned. So there's plenty of rust on the inside of that thing. So a good wire brush, soap, water, make it go around. Whole way around. Get it good and clean, good and clean, good and clean. It's the only way you're gonna make sure you can get a good seal on that. One thing as well that I'm not really showing in this is the valve replacement. Um, I do have the tool to do it. I did not end up taking the time to record it, but I replaced the valves on both of these as well. Um, sorry, I'm gonna have to find another video for that guy. But go ahead and do the same thing here where you put the spacer or that metal piece that's almost V-shaped, if you will. I don't know, let's call it the angular metal piece. Um, put your nylon spacers on and then torque that top nut down because this is the same scenario where you're going to need a lot of torque. Lots and lots of spray lube on this, which again is just that soap and water mixture. And then work it, work it, work it, continue to work it. You do not necessarily need a tool in this case. You do need lube, which ultimately is that soap and water mixture. Five, four, three, two, one pop it's done now for this next part same thing tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of soap and water lube both the rim and the tire also the tool that you're going to end up using and then so this is where the part of that tool the flat side that's going to ride the rim and the other bulbous side so to speak is going to end up going you're gonna put it over the nut and the nylon washers and see how my left hand is pushing down on the tire itself that is a critical part into getting the tire on successfully because if you try to put that top part along the bead of the rim itself you're never gonna get this on this took me probably the better part of four to five minutes to go ahead and get done then demount everything starter fluid Leave a little bit there on the rim itself, or on the rubber, and set it on fire. From there, fill it up real quick. Have your air ready to go. And the process is complete. So, as you can see, finally, once you end up getting the uh, tire back onto the rim itself, then you can put the rim back onto the machine, and then bolt the machine down, torque it to specs, and then from there good to go uh, my dealer here in my area charges thirty dollars per tire to just mount so the cost of this has um, I've done one two three four five six seven eight I've done eight wheels so eight times three is two hundred and forty dollars is what I would have spent to have all these wheels mounted and I've, I've gone ahead and, and done it myself here for significantly cheaper um, thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. Hit the like button, subscribe, throw a comment down on the bottom if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer. Kind of a Neanderthal when it comes to some of this stuff, but give it an old college try.